Hi, my name is Keith, and I'm known as the Florida Stone Man, and today in this video, I'm going to be helping you figure out if you're going upwards or downwards in life, and this is actually very important. You have to watch this video with a non-biased perspective, a non-biased standpoint on yourself if you really want to grow. Now, people are like, I'm going upwards, I'm going upwards, but are you really? Like this, if you're going upwards, and you're actually not going upwards, then you're lying to yourself. So this video is really to help you guys evaluate if you're actually going upwards in life and if you're not, because it's sometimes easy to go backwards versus going forwards in life. And it's not even your, I mean, essentially everything's our fault, but sometimes you just get caught up with the wrong crowd, caught up with the wrong friend group, caught up with a family member, caught up with an ex, caught up with some kind of new relationship, etc. It doesn't really matter because you guys are going to be evaluating in this, by the end of this video if you're going backwards or forwards. Now, there's laws in the universe. It basically says that we're never in one spot. I talked this in past videos. A bird is either flapping its wings going up or it's going downwards. You can think about it like that. You guys have to pay attention to certain things. And yeah, my mic's on this video. You have to pay attention to certain things. You have to pay attention to your goals, for one. What are your goals? What are your life's desires? Where is your life heading? What are you doing daily in your life to move towards something that you desire? Are you uh, stagnating? Or have you been putting off your goals? And I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, if you're putting your goals off, if you're putting them to, to tomorrow, something that makes you happy, something that you would desire to do, if it's been two or three weeks and you're pushing that off, you're cheating yourself out of your own self. That's your passion. That's your goal. That's you moving towards your highest purpose. That's make you. That's you making yourself happy. That's self love. That's feeling good. That's just everything that you want to become. Don't put off. And uh, sometimes things happen. Like sometimes we get comfortable. Sometimes you, you don't have enough pressure. And sometimes just people don't have enough pressure. That they're just things get easy for them. Maybe they have someone else doing everything for them. And uh, that person will just get, will just go down. They'll just go down, down, down. And you see this. Like some, sometimes you'll uh, invite in a fat. Well, I'm gonna use family members as an example. You'll have someone over that who needed help, and you'll have them on your couch. And six months goes by, and that person's still on your couch. And that person was actually when they moved into your house, they were going downward, but they were trying to get themselves to go upward. At the very start, that person, and people know what I'm talking about this because this happens all the time. It's the same story that just happens over and over again. So this person, you let on your couch, okay, they started looking for a job, they started applying for applications, they're getting calls back, but they're comfortable on your couch now and your food's good. Your food's extra good. And this person's just camping out like, uh, they're camping out. Like, they're fully camping out and they're, they're like a parasite now. They won't leave and you're like, how do I get this person out? Because they went from going upwards they're downwards to upwards to back going downwards and they're going downwards on your couch. This is just an example because life circumstances change, behaviors change, beliefs change, ideals and circumstances change, planets change, you change. We're, we're, we are never staying the same. And I've had a bunch of people as of recently be like, all my friends are changing. Like, Stone Man, like, what kind of world is this? Like, everyone around me is changing. It's because... Different planetary circumstances happen in everyone's charts. There's planets going in retrograde, there's planets not going in retrograde, I mean, leaving retrograde, etc. And it's changing the way that people have certain behaviors and conducts. Now, you have to write everything down. It might be annoying, and you might not be someone who likes to write things down, but find a way you can write stuff down, even just by the end of the day, even if it's the most like completely random, just jibber, jibber, jabbish. It just It could be like like uh kindergarten writing you could just be all over the place but the thing is is just getting the habit of writing things down write what happened in the day that's really good write what happened in the day that's really bad write what you wish that you had changed during the day write something that you wish you had done during the day get used to coming up with a system to evaluate because guess what when you, when you write stuff down your angels are fully aware of what you're writing down like when you go to sleep they start going through what you've written down even after you close the book uh or the journal now, this is really cool because this helps you evaluate yourself. This, uh, when you start writing stuff down, you don't overthink things that don't need to be overthought. Like, you are actually thinking about things that help you get ahead. If you have something, like, let's just say you don't know what to do. Like, you lack knowledge. You found that out because you're writing stuff down. Now, instead of first stagnating and actually going down every single day and your time, your time's going by, but life is still happening. And guess what? You're just missing out on certain opportunities, but 
you find out that you are lacking in certain places, guess what? That's okay. That's more than okay because you just figure that out. Knowledge is power. And once you know that you don't know something, you're going to know it because you don't know it and you're going to take the time to research it if you actually care about it. Yeah. And this is going to make you very strong. And I'm, I'm going to teach more about systems coming up because everything in life is systems. Don't reinvent the wheel. People who are entrepreneurs don't just, yes, entrepreneurs, I say the word differently in each time, but uh, don't make your own wheel if it doesn't work. There's people who have made wheels and you can make minor changes to the wheels and you'll have a system that works for you just because it worked for about 100,000 other, 100, other people who are entrepreneurs. I'm not going to say read a book. Watch YouTube videos. Uh, yeah, actually, read a book. If it helps you, read a book. Watch YouTube videos if you don't like reading books, etc. because we're in a, we're in 2013. 2013 oh no don't call me out on that guys <laughs> we're in 2030 uh 2023 sorry i've been time traveling guys <laughs> oh lord yeah we're in 2023 oh god don't use this video against me <laughs> <laughs> no don't don't ever don't ever ask stone man what what year we're in because i'm gonna be like oh my time machine says i'm in this year all these crystals that i put in this, this time machine no in 2023 people don't like to read that's okay okay that's fine because I don't expect you to learn how to read overnight because they're not really teaching that in high schools and uh they're teaching a whole lot less in high schools especially in south florida right now like to the point where they're, they're making man uh mandates or whatever you call them like requirements on people doing certain things but even people are going around them and i know a bunch of people who are in high school who don't even read or don't even know i'm not gonna say don't know how to read unless they're in, like uh they're they play football but that's a whole other story but um look into that research that guys you have to look it up because i'm there's certain things I'm not going to be... I'm not saying it to make fun of people, but... <laughs> look up videos about entrepreneurship, etc. If that's for an example as to what you would like to do. If you don't know something, that's the best thing in the whole world because you identified that you don't know it. The biggest problem with people are... People are so stuck in their own ways to the point where they think what they're doing is working for them. And it's not working for them, but they've never figured that out because they never did an evaluation on themselves. I highly suggest you take three, uh, one, two, three days a week. You can start off with one and do it a confrontation day. Confront yourself on that day. It's consider it shadow work. Put obsidian, uh, the crystal obsidian in front of you. If you don't have it, it's fine. If you do, wonderful. And confront yourself. Be like, what about myself I wish I could change? And then you would go, like, write this down. You would go and write it down. And be like, okay, what's what can I do to change this? If you're like, okay, I could do this or I could do that. You can make a map. You can make a chart. What if you don't know what you can do to change? Watch. Look, look whatever you're trying to change up. Let's just say, uh... Let's just say you don't like the way you dress and you would like to learn how to dress better. Or like you like you would like to become more stylish when you go out. Well, study fashion. Study the nature of styles. They've been doing it since in every culture since when? Since we've been putting on clothes after the Garden of Eden. But the thing is, you have to get into a habit of confronting yourself on things that don't best serve you. Because if you don't, just by not confronting things that are not best serving you, you're putting up with them. They're sticking around in your daily life. And it's another day that goes by. Another sun going up. Another moon going over your head. Just uh, another planetary planet full moon goes by and you've not accomplished something that you could have easily accomplished simply by confronting it. Maybe you don't know a problem exists until you write it down. That's usually how it goes. Or you don't want to find out that problem exists when it's too late. Let's just say, oh, this is a really good example. Let's just say you are attracting just negative people. And people are like, ah, I have good energy. I, I can't attract negative people. Of course you can. If, if you have an open energy and you're pure to the point where people see that you're pure, people are going to take advantage. But if you're someone who doesn't know how to defend your energy, then you might as well just confront that on the spot right now. Because if you pay attention, like, okay, every relationship I've ever, ever had has had this trend to it. What about yourself as attracting people with this trend? Are you letting people say anything they want to you, for example? Are you just going with what people say? Or are you pull, like you're confronting on the spot, be like, hey, this is not okay. I don't tolerate this. And guess what? Once you cut and eliminate that kind of behavior from a person out, you stop seeing those people in your life. The universe will constantly, keep in mind, God is above, God is above all. God is in everything, but there's a, there is the universe. <clears throat> there is a fishbowl mechanism. We are in this fishbowl together. 
This fishbowl is like a video game. It has different laws to it. That's why there's universal laws. When you abide by certain universal laws, you get exactly what is within the universal laws. The law of attraction is only one law. There's something called the law of fascination as well, which I taught about and people were like, huh? And they weren't very fascinated by it, but I'm gonna keep reteaching that because that one's very important. You pay, and I'm getting people like this, you pay with your energy towards something you either want or you don't want. All of you are paying attention to this video to help you grow. You're paying attention to something that's going to help you grow. Sometimes some of you are paying attention to certain things in the workplace or certain friends or people who don't best serve you. Maybe it's family members. Maybe it's, maybe it's friends who just keep you entertained, but they're not helping you. They're really hurting you. And you're paying attention. You're paying your time to that person. And that person's vacuuming your energy of blessings. Now, you cut. You really need to write down everything you are paying attention to. If you're going out in public and you're paying attention to people who just treat you bad and make mean looks at you, you're going to have 10 other people literally show up in your life making mean looks and treating you bad. This is called the law of fascination because whatever you're paying attention to and whatever you're paying attention to in the sense that you're fascinated with it and you're noticing it, you're going to see that much more. For example, and this people call this different things. Like The universe will send you, if you want a white BMW, and that's your goal, that's what you're manifesting. But you see, now you're starting to see black BMWs and red BMWs and yellow BMWs. If you take your eye off the prize, because you're fascinated with the other colors of BMWs, you're not gonna see all white BMWs anymore. You're gonna have a whole bunch of what else you are approved of, and that's gonna be a part of your life. Versus, and maybe when it's time for you to go buy a BMW, you show up and at, at the dealer's lot, you're like, oh, we only have yellow, black, and red BMWs. And you're like, where's the white one that I was manifesting? Well, you approved on the other ones just by paying attention to it. And I'm going to keep using it as an example because everything's paying attention. You're paying. It's a spiritual payment. This is why in meditation, when you meditate, you're paying attention to your guides. That's why they become up that. This is why, after a few years of paying attention to your guides every day, your guides become strong enough to move things around. Like, they'll move cups, they'll move spoons, they'll move forks. I'm not going to say much, but certain guides can even throw stones. Just, <laughs> let's just say that. And after a certain point, you'll be like, okay, cool, because you paid them attention. You paid them energy. Does it really surprise you when you made that many payments and now it's that big? It's kind of like a house that you're paying to make bigger and to make better. You're paying improvements on the house. So what are you paying attention to? Are you paying attention to things that are helping you grow? Are you paying attention to things that are going to set you back? Like, and I've had a conversation with someone recently about this today. If you, because like I said, everyone's changing. Everyone's changing all the time. Everyone. If you're not changing, you're still changing. You're just going backwards. Now, <clears throat> people are like, oh, I can't do this. I've been doing this for... For all my life, so I'm not going to change. Well, guess what? You're going you're going to go backwards, whether it's slowly or fast. You're going to go fast backwards or slow backwards, but you're going backwards. And people don't like to acknowledge this because there's no being there's no saying the same, especially with this day and age and everything has changed. That's why when uh, <clears throat> I can't say that I can't say the word. Uh, let me interrupt myself. That's why when that specific event in the world happened, uh, I can't really say the word because it's not a part of the the YouTube algorithm. When that a certain uh, event happened and the world shut down, that's why so many people just got demolished. Some people, it wasn't their fault, but some people actually did not react to the change and fully expected things to just fall out in their place when they didn't take any action. That's why the people who took the absolute most action, it doesn't matter how uncomfortable that person was. If that person sees that they're going backwards versus forwards and they wait and they don't, they think that if they just stay in one spot and they don't do anything, that it's going to benefit them because they're just going to wait it out. That There's people who realize that they're going backwards because they're being pushed backwards and they're fighting forwards. And in the end of the day, those kind of people are actually the people who have succeeded the absolute most and people are calling them, oh that person just got lucky oh that person's oh like they're just they're they took advantage of the situation yes they they absolutely took advantage of the situation because they didn't want to fall behind that person had a family that person had a future that person had goals but that thing the entirety of this video is you're going forwards or you're going backwards you're going to notice this and like you have to pay attention to this. So it's yeah, this could be with jobs, your career, your love life, 
whoever it is you're around, whatever it is around, ask yourself, is this causing me to go backwards when you're in a friendship? Is this friendship making you go backwards on beliefs, ideologies, thought patterns, behaviors, etc.? and your life is degrading and you don't know why when you just have a certain set of friends around you and they're just eating your time and they're eating your space or you have a fa certain set of family members that you let around you and they're just eating your time, eating your space and you think that everything's cool when you're, just, you're going backwards and you, you don't even know it. No one's telling you you're going backwards because they're all going backwards too. Maybe you're dating someone and that person's ripping you into the past. They're ripping, they're adding new behaviors onto you that you probably didn't have because that person is going backwards themselves and they'll take you backwards with them. That's why you need to cut certain relationships off. Even if you love the person and that person takes you backwards, that's not true love at that point. That's going backwards and you can go backwards with them and that could be a lesson or that could be a part of your future and not even looking back. So huh, yeah. Go forward in life. Challenge yourself. If you're not constantly challenging yourself, you're going to doom yourself. You're going to become a part of the past. And by the time you realize that you have actually fallen behind the part, the, the time that you do realize that you're going backwards versus forward, sometimes it's too late and you've wasted months of your life. And you've now it's a lesson, but you could have had other lessons that are way better than that lesson. But if that's what it took you, because sometimes your guides can't say anything. Your guides are like, okay, we're going to help this person, but we're just going to let them wait, the, wait it out and learn their lesson this way because they're not learning. This is what happens. You're like, why didn't my guides save me? Oh, my angels, they must be on vacation. I've seen this comment over and over. My angels are on vacation. No, they're they're with you waiting for you to learn your lesson so you can go on vacation. Okay. <laughs> if you have any questions, guys, ask them in the comment section. Utilize this. Write things down. I don't care if it's three things. I don't care if it's three words. Start writing things down. You're not going to get ahead if you don't plan, if you don't map things out, if you don't create a... And if you expect... If, I'm gonna tell you right now, if you expect everything to just go your way and you're not doing anything, you're going to go so far behind. It could be a whole year that goes by and then you realize, oh my God, what, what has been happening? Oh look, the circumstances around me have changed and now you realize you're behind when you could use that entire year to get so ahead where you're just taking vacations. Maybe you maybe you kept getting rejected at that job and I made this, I've said this before, if God has a plan and you have a plan, but if you go with your plan and you don't don't learn from your plan you're going to end up learning your plan didn't really mean anything like god was protecting you from your plan the whole time but you just continued to progress with your plan to the point where you're a job who didn't care about you just drops you a year later because you push so hard to go with that job you're like well i'm just like you didn't take the signs like maybe that job wasn't right for you a lot of you who have small businesses will face the biggest resistance because you didn't start that small business that is basically your guides most importantly, God saying, hey, you have a small business that you haven't worked on, and this is going to be the most successful thing, the best empire you build for yourself, but you haven't invested in that because you're taking an easy way out and you haven't done any self-evaluation. Evaluate yourself, and you're going to see nothing but growth. But at the second you stop working on yourself, the second you stop confronting yourself, is the second you go, whoop. Now, this is a very strict video, but... I, by the end of this video, which is now, some of you are going to be very empowered and very strong. And instead of for going downwards, now you're going back upwards. But you got to do this three, two, one time a week. I would suggest three. If you can just start with one, do one one time a week of confronting yourself. Just sit down with yourself for an hour and write things down. And be like, I suggest you guys write everything. Every single day, write stuff down. But you have to get in a habit of monitoring where you're at or you're going to be a people like, I'm just going with the flow. No, you're not. You're a part of the flow. You want to make the flow or do you want to become a part of the flow? When the water is pushing all these people, all these sheep down the stream and they can't move because they're a part of the flow, they're going with the flow, the flow leads at the edge of the waterfall off. And if you get to the edge of the waterfall and you fall off with all these other people, your friends, your family, people who don't best serve you versus the people who are at the making the flow, the people who are turning the flow on, be, make the flow. Don't be a part of the flow. Don't go with the flow. People who go with the flow, they'll go down the drain. If you have any questions, ask them in the comment section. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Ciao!